Knowing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is more than saying, I believe. Learn about Catholicism and become a premium member of RealCatholicTV.com today. Because understanding the price paid on the cross is worth more than the cost of a subscription. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Obama above the law. The White House has gravely violated the law 21 times, and attorney generals from nine states have come forward to cite these cases in a report that demands justice. The report steps away from the political arena to highlight the effects of federal overreach on citizens of the U.S., citing attacks on religious liberty, unconstitutional environmental regulations, illegal recess appointments, and lawsuits to stop state laws regarding voter ID and immigration. The contraception mandate of the Affordable Care Act was prominently mentioned as well, and the document points out the involvement of at least five different departments of the Obama administration. The attorney generals who wrote the report say it is expected that their group will grow, continuing to operate as a task force that will defend the rights of states to govern themselves and to educate voters on how Obama's violations of law impact their daily lives. Contraception Development and Peace An arm of the Canadian Catholic Conference of Bishops, or the CCCB, has been caught supporting contraception right in the middle of countrywide social justice funding campaigns. LifeSite News has uncovered a relationship between the international arm of the bishops, called Development and Peace, and a group in Haiti known as APROCIFA, which hands out free contraception. The two archbishops in charge of development and peace apparently took a solidarity trip to visit the Haitian group last December, and a spokesperson for the CCCB says they are, quote, pleased with the assurance given to them by local Haitian diocesan bishops of the good work being done by the organizations that were visited, end quote. The group in Haiti, APRCIFA, not only gives away contraception, but also distributes literature on how to get abortions and on the need to, quote, destigmatize abortion. Forcing diversity education. After lawmakers in Alberta, Canada said homeschoolers will be forced to teach their kids that homosexuality is morally acceptable, government officials now seem to be backing down. You may remember the Assistant Director of Education Communications for Alberta, Donna McColl, stated publicly that under the new Education Act, parents who teach their kids at home would be forced to incorporate, quote, diversity education in their curricula. Now, the director of communications is stepping back from the government's original statements, saying parents have a right to determine what they teach their children, and that they, quote, can still teach whatever their beliefs are about homosexuality, one way or the other, end quote. However, families across the province are still very spooked, and the president of the Homeschool Legal Defense Association, Paul Ferris, says the law needs to be amended so that government officials, like McColl, can't misinterpret the law. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Mitt Romney may still be leading the GOP nomination race after yesterday's 10 primaries, but he was forced to share the spotlight with Rick Santorum at the close of last night's races. Romney squeaked out of victory over Rick Santorum in Ohio by only 1%, crucial because no Republican has become president without first winning the Buckeye State. However, though Mitt Romney won six states last night, Rick Santorum took victories in Tennessee, Oklahoma, and North Dakota enough to get the media gabbing about whether or not Romney has the ability to win conservative voters in the country's most Republican states. Romney comes out of Super Tuesday with a total of 381 delegates, 
leading Rick Santorum's new total of 180, while Gingrich has accrued 101 delegates to overtake Ron Paul, who now has 61. <laughs> Fluke's false philosophy. Many are finding it curious that Sandra Fluke's testimony before Congress did not mention recreational sex or abortion once. Fluke then is trying to get her audience to believe that she is fighting for the rights of women who need contraception purely for medical reasons, all 14 percent who fall under that category. However, it should be noted Fluke was also the president of Georgetown's chapter for law students of reproductive justice, a student organization of abortion activists whose mission is to spread the philosophy of infanticide. The law student is also mistaken about the price of contraceptives as there is a target just down the road from Georgetown Law School where she can get her orthotricycline or the pill for a total of 300 some dollars a year as opposed to the 3,000 she claims is necessary. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. Also be sure to check out the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us and as always, God bless you.